Hi, I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we stay for the fireworks at Rochester's Fire and Ice Festival. Check out the signature sliders at the Green Dot Stable, and then we visit the country's largest distributor of fine art, so stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. Look at the crowded sidewalks behind me. I'm at another great wintertime event in the D. It's the Rochester Fire and Ice Festival. They've got all kinds of great activities. It's a wonderful family event. And best of all, so much of the event is free. Well, as you walk along Main Street, every store in front of it has an ice sculpture. They had people out here carving them earlier, and now just Main Street is full of ice sculptures. So look at this one. We have uh, Stonehenge right here. Very nice. Bonjour tout le monde. This one says hello. <laughs> I like it. There'll be 20, 30,000 people at least here by the time weekend's done. I love it. I love it too that you're giving it for free. Yes, That's this is not a taxpayer's expense. That can't be done without sponsors. There's about 10 sponsors that pool together, make this thing happen, and that's why it can be done for, for free. It's a family event, and the kids love it. This is so much fun. It's a nice warming station. People come and just, uh, I don't know, get some camping fun in the middle of winter. What a neat idea. Kids and adults love it both. It's yeah. really great, yeah. So it's not only marshmallows, you're making s'mores We're too. making s'mores. Wow. <laughs> Campfire fun in the middle of winter. <laughs> well, I think what's great about this event is that, especially with winter activities, you want to be able to go out and do something with your family that's free, wouldn't cost you more maybe than a cup of cocoa. So we've got the tubing run. We have three runs this year because it's so popular, including new double tubes for people with small kids to come down. But we have ice skating. We have dog sled rides. We have cross country snowshoeing. We have a nice taste fest so you can go in and get some soup, get something sweet, get something warm to drink and then come back out. The only thing you need to do if you want to come down and skate is to bring your own ice skates. And that's it. It's really just a fun time out with the family to come and enjoy downtown. And then of course the fire part of the Fire and Ice Festival is the fireworks. Yes, it is absolutely fantastic. It's about a 15 minute show that uh, goes on each night on Friday and Saturday. It's absolutely incredible and if you haven't seen fireworks in the winter to see it reflecting off the snow, it's absolutely gorgeous. Well, I'm going to get off to the festivities and have some more fun. Go get on too. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's got to be fun if all these people are waiting to have their turn. Definitely a sign that it's a good time. tubes are really nice too because if you have little ones that are a little too young to go down alone you can always take them down with you. So how much fun is this? You can come out here and try your hand at cross-country skiing or snowshoeing and the best part is you don't have to bring your own or rent them you just sign them out like you're taking out a book from the library and turn them back in. Right here's where you get fitted for your cross-country We've got Oakland County Parks out here making sure it's a nice fit. <laughs> okay, so, so what's her name? This is Sophia. Sophia, she's it's beautiful. Sophia. Is she one of the dogs that take people around? Or? It is, it is. She's uh, one of 27 we brought. Wow. Yes, conditions were great today. It was a beautiful day for us. It was a little warm for the dogs, but the dogs had, had fun. It's like a summer day for them. Oh my goodness, so, that's crazy. Yeah, well, they're good. just beautiful. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> so look how fabulous this is. There's no cost to come out on the ice rink. You just bring your own skates and your sense of adventure, and you're out, up off the couch having fun, out in the wintertime enjoying the fresh air, skating for free. In the evening, they turn on all the lights from the big bright light show. So if you missed it during the holidays, don't worry, they turn them on again for the Fire and Ice Festival. So once they turn on the lights, as you can see, it brings the crowds out in full force. Everybody's walking the streets. It feels so electric. But the, all the restaurants and retail are open too. So if the warming stations aren't enough, you can always go in, grab a bite, or do a little shopping. Festival. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's cold, but it is wonderful. <laughs> I see he's been enjoying his hot chocolate. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Hi, how do you like the lights? Thank you. Well, I like the lights. I like the lights. They're bright <laughs> <laughs> and colorful and pretty. Well, so you guys did. It's Christmas lights. Yeah, I know. And it's after Christmas. How cool is that? I think 
think everybody should come here and experience this, don't you? Yeah. Okay, well, he said it best, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, one of the most popular venues here at the Fire Nice Festival is the warming tent behind me. It's the Taste Fest and the Beer Tent, all in one. You can go in, get a bite to eat, warm up, and then come back out and enjoy the ice part of the festival. You girls having fun out here? Yeah. yeah. What's been your favorite thing? The sledding the hill. Sledding hill. Did you guys go together or separate? Separate. separate. And who won? Uh, we went at different times. Oh, you didn't get to raise, though. But it's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> yeah, but you can go in and warm up in the tent. Uh-huh. <laughs> What's a taste fest without great things to taste? We've got the wild wings behind us. We've got the Chomp Deli and Grill. They're giving out nice, warm soup. Holy cannolis for dessert. And, of course, Rochester Mills Beer Company. They're giving out the beer. Point it out my blood. If I don't already see them, I walk my head down, trying to block you out. People never impress you. This. They have live entertainment. Like these girls behind me, they're called True Sings, and they range in age from 12 to 14. They're amazing, and it's a free concert. I've got a real treat for you. I'm outside of the Green Dot Stables and they're just a stone's throw from downtown on Lafayette and they have the biggest slider menu I've ever seen. They make everything fresh, they buy locally, they're open early, they start serving lunch at 11 and the kitchen stays open until midnight, 1 a.m. on some nights. But let's go inside and check out what they're really known for, their sliders. Hey, 
it always is good. Yeah. Always yeah. consistent? Yes, very consistent. The cheeseburgers are the best, the fries, the truffle fries, you have to try those if you come in. It's just crazy good. Have you ever tried the mystery meat without finding what it, finding out what it is ahead of time? Mm. No. no. The mystery meat is always fun. Some people come in and order it, and they don't want to know what it is. They just eat it. And they decided. That's a fun way to do it. I mean, fun. I should try that next time. Yeah. I love the catfish, um, but corned beef is a favorite over here. I looked on the list. I want to try every slider there, and I can because it's only a few bucks per slider. I really like the Cuban. The Cuban. Ooh, the Cuban. I didn't try that one. Uh, the barbecue. Mm -hmm. I like the uh, Philly steak. Philly steak. Gosh, I'm hearing everybody's got their own favorite. Big variety of sliders, fries, soups, and salads. Everything's made in house. People can hang out. Easy food. Really approachable. Some of the original things up here. You had those yep. jockey hats. Yeah, the jockey helmets are all hand painted. Uh, those were here when we moved in. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll notice inside in the gazebo there are some name plates tacked okay. along the wall. Mm -hmm. Those are actually harness riders. And you've got that porch area too in the summertime that's, right. that's open. But then during the winter we keep it really warm mm -hmm. and uh, it's our waiting area. We keep a bar out there on the weekends. So Christine, this is your other half Jacques, that's correct? That's right. That's great. Husband and wife team working together. So you guys obviously have a recipe for success because you're celebrating something special today, right? We are, yeah. We have a trip uh, coming up to Malaysia where we're with Green Dot and uh, Kuala Lumpur. We were approached by uh, some restaurant guys out there and they, they were interested in our idea and we, we met them and uh, now it's happening. It's a reality. Shall we do a cheers to I it? I think we yeah. should. So cheers to uh, Green, what dot, is Green, Green Dot in Green Dot, Green Detroit. Dot Detroit. In uh, Malaysia. <laughs> yep. Yep. Cheers. Oh, everything on your menu is what, like two, three dollars? Pretty much, yeah. Everything, all the food, wow. everything on the food menu is two or three dollars. Sliders are all two and three. Sides, soups, salads, all two and three dollars. Uh, our domestic drinks are all two dollars. Uh, our craft beers are three dollars. All our cocktails are two really? and three dollars. Instead of ordering a twenty dollar plate of alligator, we can give you an alligator slider here for three bucks. Twenty different kinds of sliders. Every week we have a mystery meat. Mystery meat. Some people are really adventurous and they don't want to know what it is. They just order the mystery meat. You find out that you know boar is your favorite meat. Or camel. Ever, or, yeah, yeah, something. Yeah. Camel. Yeah, wow, we've, you've got some unique items. This week yeah. it's a uh, veal heart. Veal heart. And, yeah, mm -hmm. and it, I mean it can get as crazy as you know like uh, lamb testicles to you know veal heart, but or as simple as just like a chicken parmesan. I can't wait to dive into the menu and try good. some of these unique sliders. Wes yeah. Walnar, he's our executive chef, and I know he'll take good care of you. Today. All right, great. Thanks so much, and have Thank fun you. in Malaysia. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Today we have some of our, my favorites um, for a lot of different reasons. Yeah. Um, we'll start here with the hot brown. What we've done is we've taken chicken, bacon, and put Mornay on as like sort of like the spread on the bun. Mm. So that's like our interpretation of the hot brown. Nasty like it should be, right? Yep, absolutely. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Thank you. For our vegetarian friends mm -hmm. is our uh, black bean burger. It's got an avocado uh, sour cream. Uh, a black bean patty and then a, a Roma tomato on top. Avocado, I love avocado. Yeah, it's really mm. good. Mm. Oh, I can taste the avocado on it. Nice. Yeah. It's nice and creamy, rich. Mm -hmm. Kind of gives it like a little uh, fattiness without uh, having to add like. It gives it a real fresh taste. Totally, yeah. totally. And another fun mm -hmm. one we have is the Korean which most guests are pretty skeptical of, but I try to get them why? to taste it. Why are they skeptical? What is uh, it? It's why? peanut butter spread on the bun, Ooh. Uh, a beef patty. I'm sold at and peanut then, butter. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, a what patty? Yeah, a beef <laughs> patty and uh, a little bit of kimchi on top. Kimchi is? Kimchi is like Korean sauerkraut. Mm, mm. Crunch, yep. texture, the I love texture. texture. Is good. The peanut butter gives it like a creaminess that you'd normally get from like a cheese mm -hmm. uh, on a slider. So that's kind of our thought process behind that one. Who would have ever thought that is delicious? <laughs> a couple late nights. This uh, is my favorite one so far. Thank you. Speaking of favorites, uh, mm -hmm. we've got our, our cheeseburger. It's just Velveeta cheese, Velveeta? bar pickles, and some pickles. grilled onions. That's it. Yeah. But that's by far our number one seller. Oh, so. that is a good cheeseburger bite. That's very good. Mm. That's so, delicious. The grilled onions on there really ni add a nice flavor to it. I feel like most people get a cheeseburger and a mystery meat. A mystery so they, meat. So they want to play it safe, but they want to go adventurous too. So I'm going to be adventurous today. Definitely. I don't know if I want to know what it is. We've got veal heart, uh, which has been marinated in uh, spices. 
grilled with a uh, cranberry chutney and some cr grilled onions. Veal heart, okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm, it's good. It's not bad. I like it. It's got like to me if it if it's like, I like cooked it. a little medium, it's like filet mignon. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's nice, and that cranberry sauce has a nice sweetness to it. Yeah, it kind of almost tastes a little bar barbecuey, mm -hmm. um, if that's a word. But it's really nice. <laughs> so here with the soup, we've got it's a uh, chicken paprikash, but oh, in soup. That's a Hungarian. Yep, yeah. it's a Hungarian dish. Mm, dumplings in it. Yeah, oh, the dumplings. Delicious. We make the dumplings in house. We make mm. the soup, all our soups from scratch. And then next we have the kale salad. We marinate it in like uh, kind of. Uh, Lemon vinaigrette, okay. a little quinoa, and uh, some thinly shaved shallots. Mm, it's bright, nice. acidic, mm -hmm. it's uh, nice something acidic. to go with the mm -hmm. sliders that kind of takes the edge off a bit. And then these are also one of the favorites. These are uh, truffle fries. Truffle fries. You know, most places will try oh, to do yeah, truffle fries. We use truffle salt. Okay. So they're not as greasy or as oily. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, we've got our dessert slider. It's uh, marshmallow fluff on one side, Nutella on the other, and then we bake it in the oven until it's crispy. And so it kind of eats like a s'more. This looks good and gooey. Thank you. Mm. A lot of people will add bacon mm. to that, believe it or not, uh, for mm. dessert. Oh, that is Yeah, good. the chocolate and the bacon mm -hmm. go really nice together. But Oh, that Nutella flavor. Mm. Who would have ever thought? <laughs> we did. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're so popular, right? I guess, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is just fabulous. Thank you. you know, I want to thank you so much, Lester. Well, thank you, Veronica. Giving, sharing all this wonderful food with us, and I think that Christina and Jacques really said it. You can come here, everything, two or three dollars, everything here. So you can have no reason not to be adventurous and come try some of these fabulous burgers at the Green Dot Staples. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go back to that peanut awesome. butter one now. There are plenty of things to see and do in Metro Detroit this month, and our calendar events is up next to point you in the right direction. Legends is a clever comedy at Meadowbrook Theater, and the ultimate fishing show drops anchor in Novi. See spectacular ice sculptures at Plymouth Ice Festival, and the auto show rolls into Kobo to debut the latest designs. Make a new friend during Sesame Street Live, then enjoy winter fireworks at Rochester's Fire and Ice Festival. Cirque du Soleil gets inspired by the movie Avatar, and City Theater gets invaded by a sexy, fast-paced comedy. Explore Comerica Park, see the players and more at Tiger Fest, and don't miss the Blue Man Group at the McComb Center. The realish housewives of Oakland County come to the Fisher, and the Home Improvement Show teaches you how to fix it yourself. Get your blues on during Ferndale's Blues Festival. Then watch giant trucks getting crushed at Monster Jam. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. Hey, are you looking for another great reason to boast about Metro Detroit? Well, get this. Park West Gallery in Southfield is the world's largest distributor of original artwork. They've got new collections being mounted continuously, and they have over a thousand works filling the gallery. These works here belong to Andrew Bone, and he used to be a safari guide, and his theory is if you haven't been chased by it, you shouldn't paint it. And no, these are not photographs here. These are the unbelievable works of Scott Jacobs. Now here we have an entire wall dedicated to the artwork of Peter Max. Now he was a visionary pop artist in the 1960s who evolved to become a master of neo-expressionism and his vibrant colors have become a part of contemporary American culture. For instance, the NBC Peacock logo that redesigned is Peter Max's. He's been the artist for five Super Bowls, the NFL. Look at his colors, they're just so vibrant. This place is huge and there's so much art here. And to tell me all about it, I'm gonna go meet up with more Shapiro for my own private tour. Park West is, is kind of an interesting business. I think it's unique in the art world in the sense that we have a sort of a different philosophy in bringing art to people. And it was founded by a man named Albert Scaglione. And Albert still runs the company as the CEO. And he began to put art collections together and take them around to different locations and auction them. We were asked by a cruise line to begin to do auctions on cruise ships. And now we operate on eight different cruise lines. Really? On over 80 ships. And mm -hmm. one of the things that we try and do also is to bring people a, a broad range 
and a wide variety of works of art. So we have things that, are, that span the whole range of time, and we have things which are you know, under $100 to things that are around a million dollars. So we give people, people that choice to really see everything, make the right decision for them, give them proper information, and that's really what's most important. So why don't we go on a tour? I would love okay. to. Well, so this place is huge. How large is it? Well, the entire building is 63,000 square feet, but the gallery area is about 15,000 square feet 15, that we're walking okay. in now. Well, so how many galleries are there actually then? Well, we have 23 exhibition spaces, okay. and we're open seven days a week. I thought it'd be kind of fun to talk a little bit about um, this artist, his name is Marcus Glenn, wow. and Marcus actually lives in Southfield. He's, he's, oh, he's, he's right local. The, yeah, he's around the corner. It's like 3 d Yeah, yeah, he calls his work flat life. He says because life is flat, but his work goes beyond being flat and goes into another dimension. So here we're in one of our uh, galleries that features old masters, master works. Mm -hmm. We're very proud of our master's collection, and this is one of the areas that I get most enthusiastic about. These are our works by Renoir. Renoir uh, was, of course, a great painter, sure. but he experimented briefly in the graphic arts, and here are three graphic works by him, two lithographs and an etching. Here's a whole selection of Rembrandt etchings. Rembrandt, oh of course, was the greatest etcher of all time. He, he made paintings for his you know, financial needs, but he made etchings because he loved them. This is where his greatest creativity and spontaneity is found. Here's one of my favorite artists. This is Albrecht Dürer. Oh. Mm -hmm. And Albrecht Dürer is, in, in my mind, probably the most amazing artist in terms of his technical virtuosity. This is a woodcut, and it comes from the large passion, and this particular example was printed in the year 1511. Oh my goodness. 1511, yes. The woodcut is done by carving away all the negative space. So everywhere okay. the white of the paper exists, the wood was cut away and removed. If you can imagine, you know, I can't. Drinks, oh like my that. goodness, it's truly that is just yep. exactly. Any museum would love to have it. Yeah. And when you collect that piece, you never really own it. Yeah. It just stays in your collection. You're the caretaker for the rest of your life. There you go, the and then caretaker. It then it, exactly. You have that responsibility. Yeah. And we're passing through a small corridor here in the gallery that features the work of Marc Chagall. Marc mm -hmm. Chagall was, in my mind, the epic poet of 20th century art. And this is Itzhak Tarkai. Tarkai is a very interesting artist. He's from Israel, and he came very late in his life to being an artist in his 50s. Yeah, yeah. And he's become really one of the most famous artists in the world today, known for his beautiful figurative imagery. Another uh, interesting um, collection that we're very proud of is the Destino collection. Okay. And Destino was a film that was conceived by Salvador Dali and Walt Disney in the 1940s. Wow. And Park West is the exclusive representative of the artwork that's been created for collectors from the film. So you're looking at one of the suites right here of the uh, storyboards and paintings that Dali made in preparation for the film. Wow, it's really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. So you've got another Detroit artist in here too, correct? We do. This would be Dominic Pangborn. From Pangborn Design. That's right. Oh. Yeah. We're, we're uh, Dominic's dealer and publisher of his graphic works. Right over here we have an artist who, in my opinion, is, is probably the most important living artist in the world today. Oh. And his name is okay. Yaakov Agam. And the viewer and the artist have to co-mingle to create the work. And he's been known since that, you know, as the father of what's called kinetic art. If you take a look at this work from the side, you're probably seeing like a, like a circular element there, right? Now as I take it around, very, very slowly you're seeing these transformations and to the other side you'll see that same circular image but in a lighter or darker format. The work is called Moon Noon, so it's talking about the transformation of a whole day. But some of these other ones are... Well, these, these are also interactive. Change, these are called okay. the gamma graphs where they, they change and move. This is what he, what he calls a multigraph and here you're actually, you can actually come up, you're encouraged to come up and move this sliding grill and you see what happens as I change it, where the work is just you know, transforming and becoming something new. Wow. You can change it every day yeah. if you like, right? And this room is the Picasso room. Yes, yes, wow. very special room. For, uh, for us at Park West, we have an amazing Picasso collection. I think yeah. he was like Mozart. You know how Mozart wrote symphonies when he was a child? That's right. the kind of genius Picasso was. Wow. He was protean, in my opinion. He was just, he was just like a, you know, a, a man who changed everything, yeah. because everybody has to go through Picasso to understand art in the world yeah. today.
Well, Morris, thank you so much for showing me around. Oh, thank you, Veronica. Thanks so much for coming down and uh, having your viewers enjoy Park West. Yes, and it was wonderful. And as you've seen, they have everything here from the old world masters right on up to today's contemporary artists, some even from Detroit, all right here in South Philly, the Park West Gallery. That's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you would like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So until I see you next time, go out and explore on your own and discover the D. To learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com.